trackies welcome back to another video here on txt track time please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel so it's day one of the karifta games held in grenada 2024 yes grenada 2024 it's day one and of course it's gold rush for team jamaica or as we so absolutely put it sometimes it's jamaica sports day no my caribbean neighbors don't get mad at us we enjoy coming to karifta games and of course cleaning up and having you know a fantastic time and it's no different this time around so i'm going to give you all an update as it relates to the medals that we received on day one if i miss anybody then i'll cover them in day two but without any further ado let's start with the blue ribbon e event let's start with that 100 meter sprints and what went down and i have to tell you it was exciting from the under 17 section straight up to the under 20 section now in the under 17 section unfortunately Natrice East was not able to take part. She pulled out of the 100 meters and will only be going in the 200 meters. But we did have Adora Campbell and Pashalani Blake to represent Team Jamaica. And in the finals, Athena Hickson from Guyana walked away with the win running 11.44 seconds. Now I have to say, when it comes to Guyana, Guyana has definitely shown up and shown out at these Karifta games, surprising me. And based on what I'm seeing so far, Guyana may end high on on the medal table but with that said adora campbell walked away with second place for team jamaica running 11.52 seconds a fantastic run from adora campbell love their champs love their here as well a real breakout athlete for jamaica in these 100 meter sprints and in third place was ania nurse from barbados she ran 11.76 seconds to take that third place spot now moving on over to the under 17 section let me tell you something naron wade knows how to deliver and he delivered once again he walked away with a win running 10.43 seconds to collect Jamaica's first gold in the 100 meter section. Now in second place was Kadim Chinapo from Trinidad and Tobago. He ran 10.59 seconds to walk away with second place and Malik Nugent was third from Jamaica. He ran 10.74 seconds. So Jamaica walks away with two medals there, first and third. Now moving on over from the under 17 section to the under 20 section and this one was a cracker and of course there was an absolute upset at the end of the day and i'm pleasantly surprised and also excited for the winner because you know what everybody has their moment in the sun and this is her moment in the sun as well and i love the camaraderie at the end of the race now in this under 20 section we had sabrina dockery and tiana lee terry long and of course tiana lee terry long went in as a favorite considering that she's already run 11.2 two seconds and how she was disappointed based on the time she ran at champs and everybody was expecting her to go much faster here but sabrina dakri had something else planned and she wanted that win she got a phenomenal start and she held on straight to the end running a new fantastic personal best 11.26 seconds and she was over the moon excited about her performance now tina lee terry long was second and she ran at 11.32 seconds for second place and as i said she was very gracious in defeat her Hugging Sabrina Dockery and celebrating together the 1-2 for Team Jamaica. Now in third place was Giolani Dowie from Antigua and Barbuda and she ran 11.64 seconds. Now moving on over from the girls under 20 section, we're going to head on over to the boys under 20 section. And we have Javorn Dunkley, the only Jamaican lineup in this race. Now walking away with the win was the defending champion Devonte Howell. He literally left everybody for dead and kept going and run at 10.15 seconds just for one hundredth of a second outside of the actual championship record held by johan blake 10.11 seconds absolutely phenomenal run left us all flabbergasted as like oh my gosh based on the heat i did not see this time but he turned up in the final and he utterly dismantled everybody else the closest finisher was his compatriot from cayman islands Jaden reed running 10.34 seconds and Javorn Dunkley from Jamaica was third, running the same 10.34 seconds. Now, Javorn Dunkley did not dip at the line. Actually, he did ease up considering that he saw that he was losing. And I typically do not like when our athletes do that. You can lose graciously. And if he had dipped, he would have definitely gotten that silver medal or followed through through the line as strongly as he was running. He would have definitely walked away with the silver, just nowhere close to gold medal. But with that said, we're still happy that he walked away with that third place spot. And of course, he can definitely grow from here. 
this is definitely a wake up call for Jamaican athletes to know that look here, there are other people out there that are also fantastic over the sprinting events. Now we're going to jump over from the 100 meters and we're going to jump straight into the 400 meters and we're going to start with the under 17 section and the man that took down a Usain Bolt record that stood from 2002. Yes, I'm talking about Nikoi Bramwell. He walked away with the win in the 400 meters leading from start to finish running a championship record 47.27 and this is for the under 17 section. Fantastic running by Nikoi Bramwell to walk away with that gold medal for Team Jamaica. He was excited when he crossed the line. Clearly he has gone much faster this season. However, considering his injury concerns, this was a fantastic run by Nikoi Bramwell. In second place was Cameron Methylin from Grenada and he ran 47.96 seconds. And in third place from Bahamas was Egan Neely. He ran 48.16 seconds. Now Paul Henry from Jamaica was fourth and he ran 48.63 seconds. Now moving on from the boys under 17, we're going to jump into the girls under 17. We had the winner here as well, Natasia Fletcher, and she ran a time of 54.32 seconds. In second place was Kezara Thomas from Bahamas. She ran 54.59 seconds. And Tyra Fenton from Antigua and Barbuda ran 54.89 seconds. Now, Nastasia led from start to finish and she held on. Was a very strong run from Nastasia. Solid running and she walked away with a fantastic gold medal for herself and, of course, Team Jamaica. Now, we're going to jump over to the girls under 20 section because in this one, we had a favorite, Abigail Campbell, potentially to walk away with the win here however from Guyana and I said Guyana has been having a fantastic day Tiana Springer had something else on show now she's actually last year's under 17 winner and her first year in the under 20 section she walks away with the gold medal here for Guyana running 52.31 seconds Abigail Campbell from Jamaica was second running 52.85 seconds and in third place was Shanky Williams sister of Stacey Ann and you all know I love Stacey, Stacey and Williams, and she ran 53.03 seconds. Now moving on over to the boys section, and that is the boys under 20 section. And unfortunately, there was a big, big upset here because Marcinia Rose went in as the favorite, and he should have been the overall winner as the only athlete that has literally dipped below 46 seconds this season. Unfortunately, from Guyana again, Malachi Austin came out and ran a phenomenal personal best, 46.35 seconds to walk away with the win. Now, Marcinia Rose was second, and he ran 46.59 seconds, and in third place was Joshi. Sylvester from Grenada and he ran 46.93 seconds. Now, unfortunately, our Jamaican Javon Pinnock was disqualified for a small start at the beginning of the race and was not able to compete in the 400 meter race for the under 20 section. All right, so trackies, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as usual, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.